Let's say that you want Excel to color cells based on dates. For instance, in this example worksheet, this is called conditional formatting. And we're going to go through a very basic way of how to do this in column F, where we want to know which employee's certification expires during the month of July. To do this, make sure you're on the Home tab at the top of the worksheet. Next, left click and hold on the first cell you want to be part of the formatting. In this example, cell F2. Then drag down over the last cell, cell F18, and release the click and hold so all of the cells are highlighted. From here, go up to the Style section near the top of the worksheet and left click on the conditional formatting icon. A drop down box will appear with some options. If you hover over the first option, Highlight Cells Rules, a side box appears. From here, you can apply formatting based on the different options you see here. We want between, as we're going to go between July 1st and July 31st. So I'm going to go down and left click on between. And another box will appear with three inputs. In this box, for the first input, I'm going to enter 7, forward slash, 1, forward slash, and 25. July 1st, 2025. Next, I'll hit the tab key. And for the second option, I'm going to input 7, forward slash, 31, forward slash, 25. For July 31st, 2025. Then I'll hit the tab key. And now I'm going to left click on the down arrow box next to the third option. And you can see some options pop up. I'm going to choose yellow fill with dark yellow text. And then I'll left click on OK. And now we have our cells colored in based on the dates we input. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.